up everyone welcome to the rugby league history channel today i'll be doing me 2023 super league kit rating video last week i did the nrl home and away jersey video but today i'll be doing the super league 2023 home away and some alternate kits thrown in as well so um last year i got a good response with the super league kit rating video and let's see how we go this year so let's start off with the first club which is castleford so these are Castleford's home and away shirts for 2023. With their home shirt, they decided to go for an orange and black number with black and orange stripes going across with a bit of grey in the middle. They've retained the same sponsor that they've had for the last few years, which is CBR Engineering. On the right, they've decided to go with a predominantly sort of a white shirt with a bit of orange and navy blue, I think. It's on a bad away shirt. The home shirt, I think, is quite good. It's a big improvement on some of the last kits that they've had in the last couple of years for Castleford. I haven't really been a fan of their kits for maybe two or three years now, but definitely home and away are good. I give the home about an eight hour 10 and the away about a seven hour 10. And this is the third kit for Castleford or the Heritage shirt. This one is a tribute to the 1986 kit that Castleford wore the last time that they won the Challenge Cup. And these are the colors that Castleford used to wear for many decades up until the early 2000s, late 90s. Now they play in an orange and black styled kit. But before that, this is the colours that they used to wear. And I really like this heritage kit. I'd probably give it about a 9 out of 10. I really enjoy that they're harking back to the past and I think it looks great. And these are the home and away shirts for Catalan Dragons in 2023. With the home shirt, they're going for a design which they've used before and it's one that I'm familiar with. And it's got a yellow and red V, which is the colours of... Perpignan, the region that they play in, and they're sponsored by the same sponsor they had last year, which is Zodiac. As for the away, it's predominantly red, and it kind of looks like there's dragon scales on the shirt or some sort of pattern going on there. If I were a Catalan dragon supporter, I'd much prefer to buy the home shirt. I think it looks all right. I'd probably give the home shirt about an 8 out of 10. I don't mind it. For the away, I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. So these are the home and away shirts for Huddersfield in 2023. With the home shirt, they decided to go with a different design for this year, but there is a meaning behind it because this is the kit that they wore when they won the Challenge Cup 90 years ago against Warrington. And with the away one, it's predominantly white. With both of these kits, they've kept the same sponsor as they had last year. Um, it's somewhat different from Huddersfield in terms of the home. And I'm used to seeing them wear amber and brown horizontal stripes but i think that both of these kits look good and i like the meaning behind the home shirt so i probably give the home shirt an eight and a half out of ten and the away kit an eight out of ten and as for the third kit this one is predominantly black with a bit of pink and a bit of other sort of designs thrown in on the kits it's a third kit they might wear it a couple of times this year but I mean, I don't mind it. I don't know what coloured shorts they're wearing with this shirt. But I'd probably give this one maybe about a 7, a 7.5 out of 10. Huddersfield have got some decent kits this year. And I think that the fans will really enjoy them. So, good work to Huddersfield. And this is the home shirt, Hull FC, in 2023. Very traditional, black and white stripes. They've kept the same sponsor as last year. The only difference is, is that it's got sort of like a, a goldish, sort of a brown looking trim around the collars and around the sleeve area. But with the home shirt for Hull FC, it's always one of my favourites. And I'd have to give this one about a 9.5 out of 10. I think it looks class. As for the Hull FC away shirt, this year they've gone for a very blue looking number with white shorts. It looks very similar to an Everton kit. And I'm an Everton supporter, so naturally I'm going to be drawn towards something that looks like an Everton shirt. So we'd have to give the Hull FC away kit about a 9 out of 10. And as for the third one, this one's copped a lot of uh, flack online, a lot of ridicule, a lot of people have been making fun of it. But there is a story behind their third kit, and it's to do with the whole fair that goes back a couple of centuries. This shirt reminds me a lot of, uh, there's a club in France called Stade Francais, rugby union side, and they're noted for wearing very outlandish shirts. And this one reminds me a lot of that. I'm not going to go out like Zed Tank 99 did and say that this is one of the best kits in the league because I don't think it is. It's going to be a collector's item one day, I'll, I'll put it that way. But 
I think with this one, I'd probably give it about a three or four out of 10. It's a shocker, but one day it'll be a collector's item for someone out there. And now we cross over to the other side of Hull, Hull Kingston Rovers. This is their home shirt for 2023. I think this one is a big improvement on the last couple of kits that they've had. I haven't been a fan of their kits for a while now, but this home shirt, I like it. I think the sponsor, Connexon, looks better on this one. Um, this one looks a lot like a Stade de Reims kit or an Arsenal kit, but I think it's a good look for Hull Kingston Rovers in 2023. And as for the um, away kit, which is the blue and reddish one, I don't mind it. It's a bit out there, but it's somewhat different. I think it looks okay. And as for the third alternate kit, it's a maroonish kind of a goldish colour kit. And there's a bit of a story behind this one as well, because I think it involves Hull Kingston Rovers uh, defeating the Queensland State of Origin side or the Queensland representative side in a match. And this is a jersey that commemorates that, so they've gone with a maroon number. So for the home, I'll give the home about an 8 out of 10. I'll give the away a seven and a half hour ten, and probably for the third alternate kit, maybe about a six and a half, a seven hour ten. And now we go on to the Leeds home and away shirts from last year, the runners up from the 2022 grand final. With Leeds with their home kit, this one is a design that they've worn in the past. It's more of a darkish navy blue as, a, as opposed to the traditional sort of a royal blue colour and um, there's not much amber on the kit it's more of like a yellowish color with a white bar going across the the torso region they've kept the same sponsor again i mean they've been sponsored by leeds building society for years now i personally am not really a fan of the home shirt i thought that last year was a lot better it was a more traditional looking leeds kit this year they decided to go back to that navy blue color as for the away, I'm not really a fan of the away either. It looks a bit ugly. It's kind of like an aqua turquoise colour with grey, with a greyish collar and sort of grey around the collar, uh, around the sleeve area there. Uh, I think this year for Leeds, the home and away shirts are definitely a miss for me. I've got now against Leeds as a club, but I'm just not a fan of their kits. So I'd probably give the home about a six hour ten and the away about a three hour ten. And this is the third or alternate kit for. Leeds in 2023 there is a story behind this one apparently there's about 10 to 12 different landmarks that are on this jersey and it's celebrating Leeds as a city of culture and some other things I just don't like the colour the colour when I first looked at it I thought this is a birthday cake this it looks like a birthday cake but someone online said oh no it's because of it's not the club that's chosen these colours, it's Leeds City Council or someone like that that's chosen the colours for this kit. But I'm not a fan of it, it looks horrid, it looks like a birthday cake. I know their heart's in the right place, but I'll probably give this one about a 2 out of 10. And now we move on to the newly promoted Lee side. I've made me feelings known about Lee and the rebrand and what I think about the rebrand and what I think about these kits online. But to me... They're the worst kits in the league. They're horrid. They're ugly. Um, they're just terrible. And if I were a Lee supporter, I wouldn't be buying them. The funny thing is that they try to appease the fans by changing the slight, changing the home kit slightly by colouring the eyes of the leopard to make it red. Gave it a reddish looking collar with reddish looking sleeves. But for me, both of these kits are shocking. They're awful. I give both of them a 1 out of 10. Okay, now we move on to Salford's home and away shirts for 2023. It's the club's 150th anniversary as a club. And with their home shirt, I think that they've done a really good job on it. Last year, they went for a, a red shirt, which had a bit of a, a two-tone red to it. But this year, they've just gone for a solid red with a white V with a bit of a, a, like a tiny sort of a gold line going through the V as well. They've got the same sponsor as last year, Selco Builders. I think that's um, the Salford shirt, the home one looks really solid. As for the away, they've gone for a white number with a bit of black and they've got some chevrons going down the shirt there. One thing about the home shirt as well, you can't see it on this picture, but there's tiny little writing all along the kit going all over. And when you actually zoom in, it shows the names of, I think, everyone that's ever played for Salford. 
and they're all wrote in there dead tiny on the shade i think it's a really nice touch for the 150th year for the ratings i'd probably give the salford home one about an eight and a half hour ten and as for the away i'll probably give it about a seven hour ten and now we go on to the four times in a row champion st ellen's their home and away shades it's st ellen's 150th year as well and their home shades they decided to go for the solid and classic red v look i think that it's a class home shade um i wish that they just have this design every year to be fair like but i know that they'll change it up in the future as for the away one it's exactly the same design just a palette swap they've gone for a, a two-tone blue a navy blue v with a sky blue um main body it kind of reminds me a bit of his new south wales state of origin shirt in some ways just with the color and i know that they've had this design before with the away one and this is their world club challenge shirt that they'll be wearing against penrith um i think it's not too bad i think it's a, a shirt that if you're a, a collector of jerseys or if you're a snellen supporter and you want a bit of memorabilia it's a good shirt to have for the home shirt i'd give it about a nine and a half hour ten maybe even even a ten hour ten the away a nine hour ten and this one i'll give it about an eight and a half hour ten and now we move on to the wakefield trinity home and away shirts and wakey are also having their 150th year celebrations the home shirt has caused a lot of controversy i've seen a lot of posts online from upset wakey fans going it looks too much like a leeds kit it's got the leeds colors it's too much like a leeds kit but when you actually look back at the history of Wakefield Trinity, very early on in their history, they used to wear a similar design of this and similar type of colours. As for the away, um, it's more of a Wakefield Trinity looking kit. They've got the same sponsor as last year. If I were a Wakey supporter, I'd probably prefer to buy the away one because it does look more like a Wakefield Trinity kit. But for those that don't like the home shirt for this year it's only going to be for one year they'll probably go back to what we all know from wakey in 2024 but i, I give both of these kits an eight out of ten and here are the warrington kits for 2023 with the home shirt the wire they've decided to go with the design which i've seen them do in the past where it's predominantly white with their uh, not really much primrose and blue and as for the away one they decided to go with a, a sort of a darkish kit with turquoise sleeves and a bit of turquoise lines going down the front of the kit once again they've got that horrid hoover sponsor on the front not a fan of that sponsor um for me the warrington home and away shirts are disappointing for 2023 i think that if i were a warrington fan i'd like to have a kit that's predominantly blue and primrose um with this with the home shirt for me it kind of looks more like an away kit and um, yeah it's just really disappointing i'm not a fan of the warrington kits for this year i thought last year's were a lot better so for the home shirt i'll give it about a four out of ten and for the away i'll probably give it about a two out of ten i've got out against warrington but for me personally i'm just not a fan of their shirts in 2023 and last but certainly not least we have wigan with Wigan's home shirt this year, it is kind of similar to the one that they wore last year, except that when I look at it, it kind of reminds me of what Atletico Madrid have tried to do with some of their kits, where it kind of looks like they've got the painted on stripes, or the kind of the the stripes that are kind of fading away. Um, for me personally, I don't mind that kind of a look. As for the away, it's predominantly like a, a darkish bluish kind of color with with purple um, sleeves down the bottom and like a purplish collar and kind of like a, a 3d reflective looking sort of a badge there and this is the third one which was just released the other day if you notice closely it's got some musical notes on it and this one's um, a jersey where i think every jersey that they sell the money goes to charity i think five pound from every jersey goes to charity which is a, a good initiative from wigan um, it's an ugly looking shirt, the, the, the third one, but the message behind it's good. So I think overall Wigan's kits in 2023 are quite good. So with the home, I give it an eight and a half hour ten, the away an eight hour ten, and for the 
third outlet kit that they released the other day. I give it about a four out of ten, although the message behind it is quite good. So that concludes my video for ranking the home away and third kits for the Super League clubs in 2023. My favourite kits are St Ellen's, Hull FC, and I probably have to see Wigan and my top three favourites. And I think the worst kits for 2023 are Lee, obviously, Leeds and Warrington. I'm not really a fan of all of those three clubs and what they've brought out. But I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know which clubs you like the kits of and which ones you don't. Of course, everyone's going to have a different opinion. But as the old saying goes, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But um, thanks for tuning in for this video. This has been Rugby League History. Stay tuned for the next video, which will be the View from the North podcast with Just Rugby League. So thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch us all later. All right, tatty bye for now.